Hey everybody, we're talking about deadlifting safely without hurting your back and today I want to give you the, the major target for every new deadlifter to kind of shoot for and that is I want you to find and feel your hamstring muscles and maybe your glutes a little bit, but I talk more about hamstrings. Why is this? So the pelvic bones have these two little sit bones here and that's where your hamstrings connect to. So your hamstrings are kind of like rudders uh, on a boat that steer the ship of your hips, okay? And I can tug on one, tug on the other, and it determines the alignment of my hip bones. Not only that, with where they're connected down here at the bottom of my butt, as I'm bent over, if they pull down, it pulls me up. And so it's the primary mover of a large portion of the deadlift, especially this bottom half of this deadlift. Um, third kind of concomitant with those things is that if I don't have them, the only things that can help are my back muscles. Okay, there's a bunch of, mu bunch of muscles there. I like spaghetti. Ilio costalis, longissimus spinalis. Oh, it's I like spaghetti. Yeah, I like that, right? So you don't need to know those, but you do need to know that they can turn on when the hamstrings don't turn on. So the goal here is to find and feel the hamstrings. First, you have to be able to feel them at the knee position. So I start everyone with a Romanian deadlift when they're having trouble finding and feeling their hamstrings. Usually, I am stopping people at the knee. If you're really flexible, you might be able to go to the knee and not feel a damn thing, and that's kind of where I'm at usually. So I might let you go a little bit further, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I feel that, okay. Now you feel that, good. Hang on to it while you come back up. And that's generally the hard part. Oftentimes when people are messing the come back up portion of this, they're thinking too much about lifting the weight up and not enough about pushing themselves into the ground. What I mean by that is if I try to lift the weight up, I'm thinking about what my head is doing and I lead with my shoulders and that turns my back on. So instead, if I have my stretch back here, I'm pushing through my heels the whole time. If I lift with my shoulders, my knees bend forward, my weight shifts forward on my toes. I don't want that. I want to stay back on my heels. So go slow, keep your weight on your heels. Good. That's much better. Um, outside of all of that, just general hamstring training is going to be good for you. So I might lay you down. I might get little plates or little sliders under your feet. I might say, uh, I want you to show me a hip lift here. Okay, good. Do you feel your hamstrings turn on? They'll say no or yes if they've been with me for a while. And I'll say, okay. Exhale and tuck again. Do you feel your back in the ground? No, okay, try again. Push into my hand back here. Oh, okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I feel my hamstrings. Okay, so now we've got some hamstrings. That's step one, you have to get it here first. Then if I do have those sliders, I can do little hamstring curls. I can straighten my legs all the way out like this and then I can pull them back in like this. And I can do a couple reps, I can do 20 reps, I can do as many as I think this person is able to do. I usually like to do stuff like this slowly so that the fatigue builds up so that you feel the burn. Uh, but that's a good way to train, especially knee dominant hamstring movements. But even with the setup here, you're getting the hip dominant portion of this because you're learning how to position your pelvic bones. My mic fell out. Uh, so those are the big things. Um, I'm, I'm okay with even doing something like that before you deadlift, if it's gonna help you feel your hamstrings. So if you really, you do this, or maybe not even the hamstring slider, but maybe just the hip bridge, and you get a, a lot of really good glute, like glute fits in the hamstring family with me, so I'm okay with that. And I might give you that before you do your deadlift to pre-fatigue it so that you become aware of it. General cues, basic things that I'm doing is, Everybody gets the target. Everyone hears me say, do you feel your hamstrings? Good. If you do anything that makes you feel them more, keep doing that. 
I want you to keep going. Try to make your legs burn. Try to make your hamstrings burn, okay? I want you to feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Again, everyone is searching for this uh, find and feel your hamstrings. And that's the basic rule that most people need to hear.